If you don't have a big arm, this could be a 13 speed that like has some great appeal for the slower arm thrower. All right, what is up locals? Welcome to Pearson International Airport tonight. I uh, want to talk to you about a disc. My flight got delayed heading back after filming some disc golf content here in Toronto. Visiting family was the priority, but we snuck in a few rounds. This video is sponsored by Limber Disc Golf, one of the best shops in the sport. I can't speak highly enough of what they do for the community of disc golf here in Calgary. Amazing selection of discs, bags, accessories. For the month of April, be sure to use the code WEARELOCAL at checkout to be entered for your chance to win a $60 gift certificate here at Limber. All right, now back to the video. April 3rd, I think it is, the Strive is coming out from Latitude 64, 13.5 minus 1.3. And uh, I just wanted to talk about this disc a little bit because we just finished filming like a couple of mic'd up rounds, one round in particular at Toronto Island. I will leave a link down in the description where you can check out the footage from that video. And ultimately, big difference filming here in Toronto has been uh, we are really close to sea level, which means the discs are going to be flying a little bit understable to the experience that I would have in Alberta at elevation. We're 1,045 meters above sea level there. Here we're pretty close to sea level and such a drastic difference that you can experience quite a difference in the flight of your discs. Now, when I threw this disc before I left a couple days just in some snow, um, I found this just pretty straight flying. And then after getting here, I found this disc um, either had some nice turn or I had to be a little bit touchy with it. It was a bit flippy. And, you know, I think that's going to be um, a great addition to someone's bag that doesn't have a big arm. I don't totally agree with these flight numbers. 13.5 minus 1.3. You know, I feel like this is more of a uh, minus 2, 1.5 or minus 2, 2. Um, but it, it feels like it's got some turn in it. And when you look at the profile of this disc, it's got like a really flippy profile to it. So, you know, I'm not that surprised. Um, when we threw at Toronto Island, I had a couple of holes where I got this thing out pretty flat, maybe like a touch of hyzer. It turned up, flipped up, turned over, and we got like some really great stuff out of it. But ultimately, um, you know, after throwing it a few more holes, I found it to be a little bit touchy. Now. For me, at elevation, this disc has the potential to be extremely useful. And I don't love the feeling of a 13 speed typically. I don't even love the, speed, the feeling of a 12 typically. Most of the discs in my bag are like a nine speed because I just love the consistency. I love the feeling. But this, I don't know, just it's like the way my fingers wrap into like the underside of the rim of this disc. It's super comfortable and I found myself like going back to it over and over again. Now, first day kind of throwing this disc and obviously throwing it at sea level meant it was a bit more flippy and I wasn't kind of, some of the times I was turning it over and I wasn't sort of, you know, adapting nearly enough. Um, but ultimately when I go back to uh, Calgary, this disc uh, very well could be a disc in my bag. I know when Toppling gave it to us um, to do a review of, I wasn't overly keen. I thought like, you know, 13 is not really going to be a, a speed that I'm going to jive with. And when you see those numbers, you know those discs. A lot of times they're really overstable. Um, this disc, I feel like, has some great potential to fit into my bag. Um, so I was pleasantly surprised by like what this disc offered. Anyway, as I said, we were uh, delayed on my flight home. So after throwing this disc for a couple days and uh, really liking it, I thought I would jump on real quick here um, just at the airport. But... If I can sneak some content in here, uh, why wouldn't I? So having said all of that, um, please uh, check out your local Canadian retailer. Obviously, I filmed this today from Toronto. I'm heading back to Calgary, but coast to coast, your retailers are going to have this disc very soon. And if you're not in Canada, um, obviously either check out those Canadian retailers or um, this disc definitely is worth a look. Um, the Royal Grand Plastic has a great feel to it like I love the flight of this disc thank you so much for watching as always my name is Ryan this is local we are local